Hey, it was a great tasting your wines today. And I liked how many of them are blended with uh, a lot of different um, grape types, particularly in Mediterranean, like mm -hmm. um, Carignan, yeah, Carignan and um, Garnacha. Uh, what do you think about it? You were saying that, you know, global warming is more difficult now. So you've, you've been moving towards other uh, grape varieties other than Cabernet Sauvignon. Yes, it is true. We are here in this vineyard that is based in Colchagua. We can feel that every year the average temperature is higher. And not, not only that, also we have uh, many heat waves. And varieties as Cariñena, Garnacha, or Monastrel are varieties that cope better that, the, that high temperature. So they don't get stressed as, for example, as Cabernet Sauvignon or as Merlot. So, because we are still looking for freshness, tension, and vibrant wines, that's why it's, we are moving to this. And your top wines are blends, too. Yes. Which is interesting. You know, so many people focus on single varieties, particularly in, um, in Chile, particularly mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. inexpensive wines. Mm -hmm. But you're making blends, making mm -hmm. more complex wines. What's, what's your reasons? Because I think with a blend, I can read better the place. And, and, and it's like cooking. I'm going to have uh, more ingredients to make a, or to search the balance or the style that we are looking for. But what I realize is when you work organic and biodynamic as we do, it doesn't matter the blend change a little bit every year. The style, the soil, the, the fingerprint is, is a vineyard because we have soils that are completely alive in a vine that is present. The terroir. Great. Thank you.